Well, I got the intake and exhaust manifolds off the Jetta, or off the Jetta motor. Um, I friggin' put the pyrometer probe thing down there so now I can go plug it in right before the turbo instead of off the off the uh, friggin exhaust thing because it's best to do it before the turbo um, while this was out I ported all the holes to gasket match which is awesome I did the same on the intake um, so now the holes are all the same size as the gasket I have to do the head still but I'm, I'm really debating doing that right now because of metal shavings in the engine I don't want I don't want to deal with that what I might do is pop the rocker cover off and <clears throat> loosen off the camshaft so all the valves close that could work and then hog them out and then just blow it out it won't take long aluminum is so fast to to freaking work on this was a pain this was this took a long time um, but right now I got this turbo ripped apart I totally I totally called it with the gasket. It doesn't have an O-ring. It's got this stupid paper gasket thing in between uh, the compressor housing and the center section. It's friggin' stupid. You could see um, when I took when I took it apart, there was oil underneath it, so it obviously blew out the the seal, and it was friggin' leaking boost. But uh, right now, I'm working on exhaust manifold things. Um, my buddy Sean at work, he was dealing with this metal all day so what he did is he just put aside a couple of sections of it. They're just scrap ends again. Um, he punched a bunch of holes in this one so I could weld the two together. Um, what I'm gonna end up doing is I got this one for the T3 turbo and this one for the uh, Toyota CT26 twin entry. What I'm planning on doing is running compounds. I really, really want to. It's like this turbo is fine and dandy, but it's not enough. <laughs> you can never have too much power. Um, so I was thinking coming off this one like that, and if space permits, it'll have to come off at the same angle, like straight up and down parallel to the freaking turbo. And then uh, this guy will go right there. Let's see if I can. S I'll just mock it up rough for you guys. Something, something like that. Except imagine this lifted up a bit. But uh, yeah, I gotta cut that flat. I think that'll be freaking sweet. That'll be just awesome. I'm not sure if I have to have a blow-off valve. I'll do a whole bunch more in reading and stuff, but um, I think I might have to have a blow-off valve after this turbo, like somewhere on here. But uh, I've got one. I picked one up off of uh, Mercedes, so it'll it'll do the trick. I can tune it as well. So um, yeah, so that guy will go like that, and then the CT26 will get bolted right underneath it. There's enough space on the motor to do it, it'll clear the starter. The only concern is up in here, like, I've only got so much room right there. I might have to take the fender, the fender, inner fender kind of thing. Might have to hog that out a bit, but uh, it's not going to be that big a deal. Um, I really hope that it's uh, the engine's far enough forward to be able to do all this stuff but um, yeah the exhaust will be running down this side which is where all my freaking fuel lines and brake lines and everything are so hopefully they're not going to be in the way what I want to do is come off the turbo and then kind of down at an angle and then like straight back because I got the room for it to go underneath that uh, cross member thing again but we'll see we'll see what happens when I get that far um, oh one thing uh, where'd it go 
Uh, I'm sorry, dude. I cannot remember your name right now. Um, but he was saying that um, if a four-cylinder bearing will fit in here, that he'll just give me one of his. But um, I think he was saying it was an inch and a quarter. This is just 13 sixteenths. So it's not going to work, unfortunately. That sucks. Well, I got the plate all welded up. It's just, um, it's just rough welded for now. When I'm done with it, I'm going to grind it all really smooth. I got all those holes plugged, so it's going to work really good. That'll be plenty thick for the friggin' exhaust manifold. Friggin' right. But, uh, yeah, now I've got to cut it apart. So, yeah. Well, I got the brackets, not the brackets, but the things cut out. This is perfect. It's still hot. <laughs> I gotta cut that out and then I gotta grind a little bit of here because uh, this little friggin' thing is in the way. But uh, it's not that big a deal. Still, I got it there so it don't get damaged. Be a little bit upset if it got damaged. But uh, yeah, so I ported these out. This was like an eighth inch freaking out all along that edge there. So I just reamed her out and cleaned her up. And these, I did those as well. Friggin' heights. I got in as far as I could with it. And uh, pretty smooth. I like it. It will be good. Yeah, I used the gasket to match it. When the gasket's all lined up properly, it's pretty damn close. Well, maybe it's just a couple little freaking edges, but it's a hundred times better than it was. But uh, anyways, I'm done for the night, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Take care.